Good evening, NorCal Carters. It is Monday, January 3rd, 2022, and this is our first official podcast of the 2022 calendar season. I'm pausing because I think I just said 2002, but regardless, it's 2022, and this is our first podcast of the year, and this is our new format for our weekly upcoming events in NorCal Carding. They're just going to be quick. I'm going to do my best to stick to my notes, knock out the events, knock out the quick things you need to know about. And then if there's more information that we need to go deeper into, those will be separate podcasts. For example, tonight we have special guests on Andy Saisman with Challenge of the Americas. And he's bringing along Ryan Ruth from Ruthless Karting, Ryan Martin from Ron White Racing, and his sidekick, the Andy sidekick, Eric Thompson's, and um, Ashley will also be joining me tonight. So once again, we're breaking up the podcast show. This particular show, they're meant to be quick, 10 to 15 minutes. These are the events coming up. These are the quick things to know about on NorCalCarters.com. That's it. So like I said, tonight at 7.30 on Facebook... Or YouTube, you can go to Facebook, look NorCal Carters up. You can go to YouTube, look up NorCal Carters. We will be live streaming with Andy Saisman and uh, a couple of guys from Challenge of the Americas. Um, you can chat live with us while you watch, and so we will answer questions. And that's been a new format for us over the past couple of weeks, and it's been a lot of fun. So uh, we're going to do a lot more of these in 2022. And since we're talking about live streaming, recent live streams, we did three dudes from Sonoma. We had D. Baldwin, Steve Pago, and Pat Beckley on. We were discussing Sonoma limited 125 shifter classes. We also dove into how each participant got into carding and what carding means to them. And so that was a lot of fun. Check out that podcast. Uh, it's not always just, you know, hardcore racers that are carding. Um, so it's really fun to get to know their background, what they enjoyed about the limited 125 shifter class. Uh, the week prior to that, we had Team GFC on with Director of Operations, Sonny Cervelli. Super kart driver, mechanic, tire changing world champion, Wesley Boswell. And also from Team GFC, we had Ayrton Littell. He is a dealer for GFC Karting out of Utah, but he participated in many West Coast events. So we had him on and he's, uh, again, he's a dealer for GFC Karting out there in Utah and he also races. So that was some of the recent live streaming we did. A lot, again, a lot of fun. And um, yeah, there's going to be a lot more of that this year. And as we raise more funds for 2022, um, you can either donate we have t-shirts for sale. I have a new order going in next week. Um, I have other products online that you can purchase. And anything kind of tagged NorCal Carters, I use the extracartparts.com website to uh, host the NorCal Carter products. But it's very easy to find. Go to NorCal Carters, top of the page, click on shop or the drop down menu, go to shop, and that will take you directly to that shopping cart. Uh, again, you can buy t-shirts. You can buy, uh, I have rollout tapes that are labeled with NorCal Carters, and uh, you can also donate. So the more funds we raise in 2022, that would give us more ability to get out and about, cover our travel expenses, to do more race coverage, and uh, even extended race coverage. So again, a lot of exciting stuff going on in 2022. Uh, so that's new on NorCal Carters. Again, go to NorCalCarters.com, click on the shop tab, and that is uh, how you can buy the shirts, the rollout tapes, and other things. We also have decals in the works. So I started uh, that project up again. Uh, sometimes I just need friendly reminders of, hey, do this, do that. And it reminds me how many times I dropped the ball and just kind of get so excited with new stuff, I forget to execute on old ideas. So we will be having some decals soon. Uh, those will be available for sale. If you want to put them on your trailer or your car or your cart, 
Uh, and again, anything labeled NorCal Carters, uh, all the proceeds go directly back into this project. So um, as soon as those come out, I will let you know. And upcoming events. Let's get to it. Upcoming events. January 15th, the Blue Max Cart Club. They are hosting a karting swap meet. Last week, I put together a uh, quick Facebook event page. So you can go on the Facebook event page. You can post. You can share pictures of what you're selling. If you're a buyer, you can go on there and you can post a question on, hey, I'm looking for this. And if you have that buddy that always wants to drive your cart, drag them along to the swap meet and say, hey, buddy, there's going to be a swap meet on January 15th out in Davis at the Blue Max Cart Club. Why don't you come with me? We'll grab a lunch and uh, we'll go check out all the great deals. And why don't you buy yourself a cart and you and I can drive together at the same time instead of them always asking if they can just drive your cart. Uh, Also, January 15th, Prairie City Awards Banquet. That same Saturday, CCKRA, they have their awards banquet. And so that's January 15th. If I'm going through these very quickly, there's a reason for it. Go to NorCalCarters.com. Click on the events tab or the calendar tab. And everything I'm reading to you right now is on there. Directions to the swap meet will be on there. Uh, The event info for Prairie City Awards Banquet. The event info for CCKRA Awards Banquet. All that information is tied into the calendar. So again, quick, easy, go to the calendar. Speaking of banquets, Rock Sonoma Awards Banquet will be February 5th. Again, that is also on the calendar. And as more and more clubs start sending me their schedules, again, please send me your schedule If you have a cart club in Northern California, Reno, Medford, Central California, the idea is to have all the clubs on there. So if you're listening to this and you are not a sponsor or a supporter of the website, please email me the information. Uh, I think right now I have all the calendars for um, for the site sponsors as of now. So they're already in stone. They're on the website. And uh, kind of see a trend there, right? Uh, they sponsor the site, not because um, uh, I'm terrific or great or anything else, but they also have their calendars out. They're finalized. They're on NorCal Carters. They're on their web pages. And um, yeah, so if you are not a supporting club, I will still put your calendar online. It will lack some of the, you know, website links, phone numbers. In for stuff like that, but at least your race will be on the calendar. And um, so again, email it NorCalCarters at gmail.com. NorCalCarters at gmail.com. Get those sent over to me so we can get them online. Speaking of clubs, like I said, Andy Saisman will be on tonight at 7 30 on Facebook and YouTube. Chat live with Andy, with Ryan Ruth, and Ryan Martin. Chat live with us as we do a live stream show. We're going to talk about the 2021 season. We're going to give you a preview of the 2022 season. And uh, Challenge of the Americas, their website, challengecarding.com, challengecarding.com. And uh, they are a renewing supporter for NorCal Carters this year. So, Andy, thank you very much. Rock Sonoma, their calendar is live on norcalcarters.com. Rock Sonoma, their website, SinzaruCarding.com. They are a returning supporting club for the NorCal Carters website. Thank you to the Camerons and Rock Sonoma. And again, that website, SinzaruCarding.com. Also confirmed and coming back this year, Prairie City Carding, PCCarding.com. They are a supporter of NorCal Carters and... All of their events right now, uh, at least let me rephrase that, all of the events that they are hosting are currently on the calendar. If there are other special events coming to that track, for example, like a KPX race or any other outside um, series, those are not yet live on the calendar. But uh, the Prairie City, both the two-stroke and the four-stroke weekends are live on the calendar. And a quick thank you to... The other clubs, I've not confirmed um, 
their renewals for 2022 yet, but for 2021, we had Northern Nevada Cart Club, NNKCReno.com. They were a supporter of the 2021 NorCal Carters website. We had NCK Road Racers, NCKRoadRacing.com. They were supporters of NorCal Carters. And I also mentioned uh, CCKRA. They had their awards banquet coming up January 15th. They were a supporter of the NorCal Carters Project in 2021. So thank you to those clubs and promoters that are, are helping with this project. And if you're curious, why should I support NorCal Carters? One, very simply, it takes money to keep the website alive, to add the different programs. This year, we upgraded the website to make the calendar a lot more interactive. And you click on an event, it shows you a map. Boom. It just everything just flows a lot better now with the new website that costs money. Uh, like I said, we're trying to do more race promotion or live streams that costs money, whether it's travel or equipment. Um, so all the money from NorCal Carters, I don't put it in my pocket to support anything else. All that money goes directly to NorCal Carters to keep the site alive, to keep promoting stuff. Um, one example, we, we had a little bit of extra funds, for um at the end of the closing of 2021 so that's why we added the live stream stuff um so at least that's paid for for you know a couple of months here but just little stuff like that it all costs money and um so yeah i'm kind of begging for money right now but the reality is the the norcal carters project really isn't there to try to generate a bunch of money it's there to promote carding is there to promote karting at the regional and at the club level. And uh, the main focus is to get new people into the sport. And um, to do that, we need sponsors. Uh, speaking of sponsors, Gorilla Barbecue out there in Pacifica. So we have Gorilla Barbecue as a sponsor. GFC Karting is a sponsor. And ExtraKartParts.com is a sponsor. So what we did with Gary Carlton last year, and GFC Carding, gfccarding.com. We ended up adding all of Gary's races to the NorCal Carter calendar. So that way, for example, if you saw a rock event or the Super Nats, et cetera, it's, it would say, uh, you know, Rock Sonoma race number seven. Boom. That's their own entry. That's their own calendar event. Right under that, we had GFC Carding. On that same weekend, so when you saw Rock Sonoma, it's like, oh, GFC is going to be at Rock Sonoma. So you knew where Gary was going. Um, so we could do that for you too. If you're a local cart shop in NorCal, or if you're a SoCal cart shop, a Southern Oregon cart shop, and you travel into the NorCal region and you want people to know where you're going, reach out to me. We could put together a package for you. And and again, all the funds from NorCal Carters go right back into the project to just make it better. Um there's a lot of things I wanted to do last year and it just got to the point of, well, there's really not quite enough, you know, money in the budget for that. Perfect example were decals. Um, you order decals, you pay for everything up front with the hope of, oh, okay, I'll sell some down the road. You're going to give out most of them at the track to the kids, you know, so it's, it's kind of a write off anyhow, but it just kind of slipped my mind. And then you know, Kimberly Cameron sent me a quick text. Dude, you need cal uh, decals. Get them going. And it's like, all right. Yeah, that's right. I was working on it and it just got, you know, again, I didn't follow up on it. got buried and uh, it wasn't a high priority at that moment. But here we are. 2022 is already here. Um, let's see here. Again, I'm making this show very fast. This is the new format for the weekly carding updates. A very fast show. If you hear an event and you missed it, you can always go back to NorCalCarters.com, click on the events tab. It's going to be on the calendar. Uh, I will also get much better at posting uh, every week the content from these shows in a podcast uh, blog. So that way it's like, oh, that's what he talked about. Boom, there's the information. So I'm working on that. And again, a lot of good stuff happening in 2022. Uh, we talked about the, the clubs who supported in 2021. We talked about the returning supporting clubs and promoters. We talked about our sponsors. And let's see here. Um, also, it, I, I, this year, I'm trying to figure out how to wrap up our show. Again, this quick 15-minute show. 
Um, so it's I'm going to mess around with a couple different formats over the next couple of weeks. So we, you know, I I usually promote the NorCal on YouTube, NorCal on Facebook, NorCal on Instagram. Uh, you know, I usually promote that type of stuff. But being that I'm trying to find the new way to wrap the shows up, um, we we decided when I say we, Ashley and I, Ashley, uh, she's been helping me a lot in the background with a with a lot of the stuff you're seeing lately. And we had decided that 2022 is going to be the suicide awareness year. And we created a resource page. It's already live on NorCalCarters.com. But in 2021, you know, we lost three, three cart racers that I know of. And um, it's, it was just an alarming. To me, that's a very alarming number for a very family-oriented sport um, by pretty much sporting standards it's a small sport and i figured well we have this website we have a platform for the racers let's create the resource page so we have a resource page on there it's going to be a a, a ongoing page it's going to be changing evolving we're going to be adding different resources to that whether it's going to be videos or podcasts um, or information sheets but again uh, 2022 is going to be, um, suicide awareness. And, you know, last year we did year of the promotions. 2022 was year of the club. Um, I really don't want to have this as a theme for 2022, but, uh, I really want to get information out there. Uh, if you're struggling, reach out. Um, if you're not comfortable reaching out to somebody that, you know, you could go to that resources page. There's 800 numbers. There's chat lines. There's text lines. Um, coming up here shortly, the federal government is expanding a program where they will have an app. So there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, resources for you if you're not aware of them or know how to reach them. Uh, again, you can go to the NorCalCarters.com, click on the resources tab, and you can. Uh, click on suicide prevention and awareness. That will take you to the page with all the links. Again, hotline phone numbers. Um, if you, again, if you can't talk to a friend, um, reach out somehow to somebody. And if you're on the other side of it, you have concerns about somebody, do the same thing. Reach out to them. Stay in contact with them. Um, it, I've been putting a lot of thought into this over the past couple of weeks. And, you know, guys, primarily guys in our sport, um, you know, we all have very similar personalities. We're always trying to one up each other. And it's it, it really got me thinking. It's like, you know, sometimes, you know, we say things or do things to each other that oh, those aren't very kind. Then I started thinking about my um, a good friend of mine, my good, good friend, Jim Kidd, and him and I are always going back at each, you know, back and forth. We're always, you know, tossing insults at each other or jokes or whatever it is. And I know at the end of the day, if I had a column for any reason, I know he would drop everything and be there for me. And I it kind of, again, I've been putting a lot of thought into this. Um, surround yourself with people like that. Yeah, you can joke. Yeah, you can give each other a hard time. But at the end of the day, you know they're going to be right there for you. And um, if, if you don't have a resource like that right away, start making it. Start reaching out to people. Start start connecting. And um, again, if you're on the other side of it, you have concerns about somebody, you know, stay in contact with them. Find resources yourself. You know, use that resource page. Uh, maybe you can, you know, reach out to a local uh, hotline or something it, to uh, help you along because uh, most of us we're not professionals we're not experts in this area and um, it's it, it's something that definitely needs to be addressed and again so every weekly podcast down the road there my my plug for this is going to get shorter but it's going to, the message is going to be strong all year long. It's like, there's, there is a resource for you out there. There is people willing to help. There's people willing to listen. So, um, again, 2022, that's going to be our theme. And with that, 
Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show. We got a lot of good things coming up in 2022. And uh, just keep this in mind. If we all bring one person into the sport this year, we will double our size. Have a great night.